I'm making my way very carefully through this bit of woodland. Um, partly so I don't sit on a stinging nettle, but mostly so that I don't trample these absolutely gorgeous flowers that I'd like to share with you in this video. These are wild daffodils, a native wildflower to Great Britain and they're growing here at the Blashford Lakes Nature Reserve and they are just beautiful. Everyone I think is familiar with the daffodil from our parks and gardens, everywhere grows them because they are just so lovely and such a welcome sign of, of spring. Um, but there's nothing quite like the native wild daffodil. They're a little bit daintier than the more glamorous, brash, uh, garden type daffodil that many of us are more familiar with. They are daintier, they're much smaller, but the tallest of these here is probably about 30 centimetres tall and most of the flowers are shorter than that, probably more like 20 centimetres or even less. The flowers themselves are also smaller. Um, the outer petals tend to kind of grow forwards over the central trumpet just there. And the other key thing which makes them um, kind of uniquely wild daffodil-esque um, is this two-tone coloration. So if you see daffodils growing in profusion like this in a woodland or a field setting and they've got a deep yellow trumpet and these kind of pastel pale lemony yellow colour outer petals if they're short and as I say growing in profusion because that's the other thing that wild daffodils do they do grow in drifts everywhere um, you are looking at the, the native wild daffodil. They're far less common than they used to be. So in the mid 19th century or up until the mid 19th century um, you could see wild daffodils everywhere in wet woodlands and meadows and orchards um, and then sadly that changed. At one point they were so common that um, people would pick them in multitudes to sell at, uh, at markets um, but no more <laughs> sadly. Um, whether or not their decline is because of over picking it's possible most people think probably not um, but rather that the intensification of agriculture at that time just led to the degradation of their habitat and it was no longer suitable for them to grow wild daffodils aren't a rare wildflower but they just don't have anywhere near the range that they used to so it used to be you could go out and you could see them everywhere today There'll just be a few isolated sites probably near you where you can go and enjoy them. And do go out and enjoy them because they are one of those really special, wonderful sites and signs of, signs of spring that we've got here in the UK. If you do go out looking for them, um, keep to the paths. They don't like many bulbs, they don't like to be trampled. I have very carefully made my way into here uh, along the deer track so I don't cause too much damage. Um, and I will very carefully make my way back. But generally, if we keep to the paths, we won't spoil the flowers, the bulbs, and they'll keep on growing. Um, so there we have it, the wild daffodil. Enjoy.